So this is Blender 2.8 release candidate. And the object here in the viewport is a mesh that comes from Thingiverse. Uh, it was provided in OBJ format. And if I go into edit mode by hitting the tab key and swiping to the right here, um, that goes, as I said, into edit mode. And we can see this is a pretty fine mesh. And that's a subdivided mesh. So before I continue to work with this particular object, I think I first need to explain what a subdivided mesh is. So in Fusion 360, when you are in the T-spline environment and you create a cube, it looks like this in box view mode. And if you switch it into smooth view mode, it looks all rounded. And in order to get to that point in Blender, I have to apply a subdivision surface modifier. Uh, and a Catmull Clark, not a simple one. And we can still see that this is a mesh because it has all these facets. But if I need to edit this, I can uh, edit the original mesh. I don't have to deal with all these vertices because that subdivision is applied afterwards. However, if I apply this subdivision and then go into edit mode, I can see that um, I now have all these faces and vertices. And if I would want to modify this, that would be very cumbersome. So now let's go back to our actual mesh. Our actual mesh, as I, as I already said, is also a subdivided mesh. So wouldn't it be cool if I can unsubdivide it? If I start with a mesh like this, can I unsubdivide it? And yes, we can. You can do that in Fusion 360, uh, sorry, in Blender, and then unsubdivide it and get to something usable in Fusion 360. So in order to do that, you add a decimate modifier and select unsubdivide and maybe give that a level of four and see what that, uh, what that looks like. And that takes a while because it's a pretty good mesh. All right, that took a while. Shade this flat. And we can see that would be a much more manageable mesh to handle in Fusion 360. And it would be substantially lighter and would com convert into a, a T-spline very quickly. Um, the only problem that we have is that there are some parts of this mesh that are actually not subdivided like these, uh, like these uh, center console controls here, or there is another part of this, of this object back here that also isn't, isn't subdivided. Oops, I'm going to quickly shift into orthographic mode. So in order to uh, separate this object into separate meshes, I click on a vertex of the mesh object that I'm looking for, hit the L key to select all the connected or the linked vertices, and then I hit the P key and click on selection. And that separates the selection out into its own object. And I do that again for this mesh here. Let's see if this works. P selection. Okay, then I go out of edit mode. And then I uh, can hide this. Then I could work on these um, meshes here separately and actually delete that subdivision, uh, that un unsubdivide modifier. Um, Alt H to unhide. go back into edit mode, uh, into object mode, and then we can simply apply that modifier. And there is our unsubdivided mesh now much, with much fewer vertices and uh, that you can uh, export into another OBJ fi file and then uh, into Fusion 360. It probably takes a little bit of error uh, experimentation and trial and error to get that to to work properly uh, but altogether a mesh with this mesh density is much easier to edit 
um, in Fusion 360 than it is to edit with that high number of vertices and faces. So hopefully this helps.